on the rim. I'm not sure if Adam Bishop noticed this, but Patrick Peters is watching him. And Chris Olsen with a reversal off of a spine buster doing a DDT onto Adam Bishop. Chris Arsenal showing off the strength, lifting Adam Bishop way up with a power slam. Arsenal picking Adam Bishop up and a back suplex by Chris Arsenal. Going for the cover. One. Not, no, not even a one count. Adam Bishop, not even a one count. Arsenal now. Leg drop. And another leg drop. One, two, two. What is Patrick Creed doing out here? What is his beef with Adam Bishop? If, if, if he's so upset about losing the match on episode one, why don't he just work his way into getting a title contendership after full fourth? He seems to be focusing deliberately on Adam Bishop rather than focusing on the world class championship altogether. But I'm off track right now as Chris Arsenal is having a hard time keeping Adam Bishop down. Arsenal throwing Bishop to the turnbuckle and Bishop with shoulder thrust onto Chris Arsenal. Adam Bishop now going for another submission hold. But unfortunately, Arsenal is well aware of Adam Bishop's submission prowess and reaches for the ropes. Adam Bishop back super onto Chris Arsenal. Arsenal slow to get up, teetering almost. Ruthless. Neck breaker by Ruthless Adam Bishop. Go for the cover. One. Two. And a two count once more. Adam Bishop can't keep Arsenal down. Bishop. Going to the room. Another spear by Adam Bishop. Look, he's circling him. Circling him, circling him like a prey. He's going for the finisher. Going for lights out. Adam Bishop lights out on the Chris Arsenal. This could be it. This could be it. Adam Bishop drag him to the middle of the ring. One, two, and three. Adam Bishop with a beautiful victory over Chris Arsenal, capturing him with the lights out. Adam Bishop, well fought off match. And you're probably wondering why does Adam Bishop have the most difficult match out of the other two? I don't know. We had a surplus in jobber money and we got two extra jobbers for this one show. They got their paycheck and half the priest still looking on. Watching the match. Not saying anything. It looks like Adam Bishop has finally noticed half the Creed on the ramp and looking on. Not quite sure what to think of it. Oh yeah. This guy. This fucking guy. Oh, God. You know what? I have nothing to say. I asked him kindly to give me his information so that I can call my matches knowing a little bit about the participants. It seems he has a full-fledged contract with FSCW. He was not part of the Jabber initiative where we just say, Hey, you, you want to get your ass kicked for five or six minutes? And, you know, we just picked him off for the street. No, this guy actually has a contract with us. I'm not the one who manages contracts, so I do not know why we hired this guy. I don't know how he got past our security. I don't know how he got past um, a background search without information. But it seems as if no one else is going to do it, someone has to step up. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm gonna say. I wonder who his opponent's gonna be. Hmm. Seems to be taking quite a bit to come out here. What's going on here? I'll show you what's going on. Now you're waiting for your opponent. But there isn't one today. I stepped this up. It's been weeks now. And no one knows your name. 
I seem to be the only one who truly cares. I like order. I like uniformity. I like being able to call a match with information on the participants. You, however, have made my job difficult and, have, and went out of your way to do so by making me look like a fool. You don't respect our business and you don't respect me. I asked you kindly, give us your name. Just give me your name. Give me your damn name. You mealy mouth bastard. I, I don't know what to do with you. It's driving me nuts. I, I know mama always told me that violence is never the answer. But I'm desperate here. How about this? You versus me at full force. If I win, you give me your information. What? Let me get this straight. If you win, given your win-loss record, it's safe to say you won't. Want me to sing a theme song? You know what? You're on. Ooh, boy, you don't know who you're messing with. I'm from the streets, son. BX all day. Oh. 